<laughs> Good evening, my name is Garrett, and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is Wicked River Canadian Whiskey. This is a 40% ABV, no age statement, coming from God knows where. Uh, the only thing we know this is from the James Fox Company in Louisville, Kentucky. <sighs> Obviously, it's sourced. We know that much. But that's about all we know. And I seen this bottle and it was just one of those things. It looks very similar to another bottle labeling and I'll post the picture of it here uh, because it's almost identical and almost say, hey, can I see your homework kind of situation? Like, oh yeah, that's fine. Just make sure you change some of your answers. And this is what they came up with. So I don't know much about it. There's not a lot about it online either. Uh, but it tells us it's batch 0034, and the few pictures I've seen other people having this, one specifically was on Facebook, had the ex exact same batch number. So I don't know if this was like a one and done situation, or if they've never moved past that number. Only time will tell. Uh, so we're going to be trying this two different ways. First way, neat, no ice, no water. Second way, we'll add a couple drops of water and see what changes up. I'm glutton for punishment when it comes to weird bottles. So, um, I like finding these weird one-offs because a lot of times they can either be hidden gems, which is about that 1% chance, or the other part of that is that um, you're going to see this on a shelf maybe, and you're going to go, what is this? Uh, already, I will already give them credit because I think, is this a, is this, it is a cork. They could have phoned this in and went screw cap. So, you already get a star in my book, which doesn't amount to anything. <laughs> but I was in um, in the location that I found this, and I was like, I'm walking around, killing some time, and I seen this, and I go, all right, what the hell is it? Couldn't find anything about it. I'm like, all right, I'll take a chance on it. Very Canadian color, very dark. Uh, you know, it, it's got that bit of uh, almost a green tinge to it. It's a golden green color. I've seen this happen in a few different whiskeys. So uh, let's go for notes. Actually not too bad. Wow. Very Canadian on the nose. You get a bit of those uh, that rye spice in there actually. Little alcohol on the nose. Probably dialed up just a little bit. Bit of that that vanilla in there. A little maple. You get that maple syrup note. But it's actually not a horrible nose. Try to see if I pull out anything else. That spice in there is actually dialed up pretty well. There's something else in there. Hold on. Getting the sweetness in there. I think it's just that maple kind of... I'm getting both a maple and a maple syrup note in there. All right, let's go for taste. Wish me luck. What is that? What did I just drink? That is very off-putting. Oh. All right, I don't know what I just drank. That is the weirdest amalgamation of flavors. I don't want to take another drink. You can't make me. Holy. The, you get this huge potent, potent punch of alcohol, like rubbing alcohol. Mixed in there with a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of maple. And there's another taste in there that I have no idea. Like, just like I just chewed on bark. P 
peanut shells? Like a peanut shell taste. Like it, it's just got this metallic. I, it, I don't even know what it is. My brain was going peanut shells. Oh my God. It, the, the finish is dry like peanut shells. It's I barely get any caramel sweetness. You get a little bit of maple in there. You get a little bit of that maple sugar note. Oh, but it's, it's not even that. Oh. I don't want to put this with water. Why do you make me? I make me. What am I talking about? Oh my gosh. All right. Oh. Oh. And I'm just getting like an earthy earthy sweetness going on and not in a pleasant earthy sweetness. You are getting a bit of maple quality in there if I'm digging deep. Not quite as not quite as peanut shell like but the you get a bit of that maple still. That maple quality is still there. Oh God, here we go. Oh. Like it starts off fine. It starts off like, oh, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of, a oh, little bit of uh, caramel notes, a little bit of maple. And then it goes like a weird earthiness going on. And then it, it's in the finish as well. This earthiness that's there is just not pleasant on the palate. I don't even know what I'd do with this. I'm so confused right now. Uh, I'm, oh, I'm gonna go back for another taste. It's maybe it's more vegetal. I think I'm getting. I'm. I'm. I think I finally found something I can relate to vegetal notes. It's not pleasant. It's like a, I, I think I'm gonna pull back on my uh, peanut shell note and go more vegetal, like earthy, earthy vegetal note. And the worst part, it's a little bitter even. You get a little bit of bitterness in the middle of your tongue from it. Ugh. All right, let's talk about market price because I can't keep drinking that. Market price is market price. We all know that. It changes depending on where you're at. I picked this up at a pharmacy called CVS here in the Midwest. I think they're nationwide. I'm not really sure. Um, it cost me 15 bucks. So for 15 bucks, I don't think it's worth that. <laughs> it might be something that you could put in a mixer, but you're kind of stretching at that point. You better put it in with something that's going to mask this flavor. It's not palatable. It's it's really rough. This is a really rough flavor to have. Um, it starts off fine, and then it just goes to hell in a handbasket afterwards. The only props it gets is the real cork on top here. This the versus screw cap. D don't do it. Don't don't put yourself through it. Spend a little bit more. Get Canadian Club if you're looking into Canadian whiskeys or. God, anything else. I, I don't know what else you could drink at this point, but it's got to be better than this. This is not great. Don't do not do it to yourselves. So there you have it. Wicked River Canadian Whiskey. If you have any questions about the bottle, um, I think I've voiced my opinion enough on it. <laughs> no. Ask me down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer it. If you have any specific bottles you would like me to review, also let me know down below. I'm always on the hunt for something new, fun, and exciting to try. And as always, I hope your final drink of the night is the best one, or at least better than mine.
you know, I really like it.